Hello, everyone. How's it going? I have new hair. <laughs> um, so before we start, if I seem a bit like tired and not concentrated, concentrated isn't even English. Uh, I don't feel 100%. I feel a bit run down and a bit tired. I've got a bit, of a, a bit of a head cold. So I might sound a bit nasally, got a bit of a runny nose, but it's fine. We'll do it. We'll do a little live stream and then maybe I'll try and have a nap this afternoon. I feel like I'm too high up. There we go. I also need to update uh, the member nod. I need to update the shout out names. The problem is that the templates that I use, they're on my computer and I still haven't taken my computer to the computer shop to get it fixed. So maybe what I'll try and do is get some new footage together and film a, a new a new intro for the stream and for the, uh, the intro for the reactions words. They're hard today. I've had like five coffees and I just can't wake up. Uh, and I can't concentrate, but it's fine. We survive. Uh, also, members, I will do a live stream tonight at quarter past six my time. I have scheduled it. I just need to put out a notification, but I didn't want to bombard you with too much uh, community tab posts. So, And in other news, I got my period today. So that's really good. Five weeks post show. I was talking about it with my coach earlier. He actually asked me earlier in the week. He's like, have you started your period? I'm like, no, not yet. And then, funnily enough, it started today. So this is very good, which means that next week I'm going to get blood tests done for general health. Um, and for next month, I will book in to get everything else tested in terms of like my reproductive organs and all of that. So yeah, everything's fine and dandy still, because that's obviously something that's important to me. So there we go. Let me say hi to the chat. Now I've had my little intro out of the way. Chris and Colleen, I literally just broke up with my boyfriend 10 minutes ago. This is live stream will help me during... Oh, that's a uh, Kristen. I'm so sorry to hear, but just think about it like this if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. It still sucks, though. Don't get me wrong, it sucks when you break up with somebody, but you know, sometimes these things happen, and maybe in a couple of months' time, you look back on it and it's worked out for the better. Regardless, I'm sorry for that that happened, and hopefully, this live stream will cheer you up a little bit. Uh, Julia, Julia, Sophie Kellett. Uh, Janet, AB, Daniel, Alice, Tilted Crown, uh, Briggs and Bueno Baby, Daniel, Beth the Bookworm, Chickpea, Chaco, Emily, Matt, then the uh, English, Danice, Danicia, Danica, Danica or Danisa, Danica, I think, uh, Raya Kumar, Hex Red Workaholic, Colby, Alice, Lisa, Take It or Leave It, Cat Nicole, Soprano, Cactus Patch, 152 for Scooter. C.S. Rayburn, Dirty Great, Tiny Elephant, Sarah Hood, Don and Doodle, Soprano again, Shireen Knight, Lisa Sunshine, Alina Petrova, mm -mm -mm, Sleepwalker Building, oh, so many. It's not pink, my hair is like, it's uh, maybe it looks on camera pink, but it's not, it's basically like a blood red. That video I will probably edit and upload it tonight for Vlogmas. So what I have scheduled is I've got a full day of eating to come. That I filmed already. I also did a video where I sit down and I talk about my favorite whey proteins and like uh, pre workouts and stuff like that. But that video is going to be a bit of a, um, it's going to be quite a bit of work to put together because I need to get all the screenshots of all the products and I do the labels with the ingredient panels and like insert that, which like it doesn't sound like a lot, but actually that kind of editing takes a lot of work. Um, and I just haven't had the time because I've been busy with my client stuff. And then yesterday I was pretty much sick all afternoon because as you can tell like I've got a cold now so I was really run down yesterday afternoon so I didn't end up doing anything really besides pretty much laying down on the sofa um now I feel better-ish today uh but that means that I'm gonna have to do work over the weekend and I don't have time to put a video like that together so I will upload that uh I'm also going to film a video because some of you guys will <laughs> ask for this somebody sent me this as a suggestion and I thought it was a really good suggestion to do in the day, the day in the life of my animals so I will probably film that tomorrow to go up either maybe on Sunday or the week after. But you'll get a day in the life of like basically what my animals, what they do, how what they get up to from the moment that they wake up or that I wake up, I should say, until we go to bed. Uh, Galina Ivanova. Oh, there's so many people. Cara Bellanui, Tifet Moore, Jesse0313, Jasper Zid. You made it yesterday, Jasper. You definitely made it. Susanna L. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm really behind on the chat. So, 
Right. So I did say hi to everybody. Sorry, it's really it's really difficult to try and say hi to everybody because <laughs> there's so many of you guys. So what does Shikara mean? Uh, so Shikara basically is a Japanese word because uh, I have like, if you don't know, I have like, I'm kind of like obsessed with like Japanese things. I used to watch a lot of anime. I haven't in recent time because I just don't have the time. But I was like a massive anime. I, I still am an anime fan. I still love anime. I just don't watch it that much. But I like, I have, I, I just like, I'm like, a, I just like anything Japanese pretty much. And Shikara is a Japanese word and it stands for like, it's kind of like a word that embosses many things like willpower, strength, vigor. Um, in fact, we can look it up. Shikara definition. Uh, Japanese. Oh, hold on. So if I do a presenting of the screens, because I might as well, we're going to be looking at some sort of... Jesus Christ, of course. Of course, it's so hard today. Uh, that's the wrong button. Sorry, like I said, I'm, I'm not feeling 100%, so I'm probably like a, a little bit more special than I normally am. <laughs> but bear with me. Mm, there you go. So, here we go. Ale, load then. What does Shikara mean in Japanese? Can you see what I've been shopping? There you go. This is the kind of stuff I've been shopping lately. <laughs> uh, native speakers say Shikara often means power in Japanese. Perhaps some Japanese learners know this word as it is sometimes used in Japanese movies, songs, and novels, anime. Uh, but basically, a power, strength, and ability. Native speakers, so that's basically what it means. So I'm not going to go into the rest of it. But yeah, basically, it's, it's a word that encompasses many things. And this is why... Uh, I decided to use that as uh, like my, my business name, so to speak, and my channel name, because I like I like the idea of that. Because And I like the idea of doing a transformation as well, because I don't think that weight loss is what it's all about. You know, um, it's not like weight loss is not shouldn't be necessarily a goal. I believe in transforming people and it can be both mental and physical. So this is why the, my business, um, my business, like my business she but it's like powerful transformations i suppose oh, my neck i also slept a bit funny so if i'm like wincing at times it's because my neck hurts and i i, I forget about it and then i do movements and then i hurt myself <laughs> hello new hair what what did what happened so I, I lily does stuff i was thinking about doing this um the whole time because i've been missing the red uh i was just waiting for my products to come and they arrived the other day the, the, yesterday, actually, they arrived the hair products. And this morning, because I couldn't train because of my neck and feeling run down, I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll just dye my hair. So this is basically what I did. I, I colored my hair this morning. Did you Do you train when you can record a cold? Um, it depends on how bad it is. So yesterday, I felt okay, and I went to the gym for on my rest day. And on my rest day, I basically just did squats, and I squatted quite heavy. Uh, and then after that, I did a sauna and a cold plunge. And then it took me like several hours, like three to four hours sitting here with the air conditioning on 20 high, 28 on the highest uh, fan blow. And I just couldn't get warm. And I just felt weird the whole afternoon. I really like just not 100%. So today when I woke up and I could just see that my nose was just bunged up and like I'm all like sinusy. And my neck wasn't feeling right. So I was like, you know, what? actually this is just my body telling me that I need to have an actual rest day. But what I'll do is I will probably go to bed early tonight, like normal. And then I think I'm probably okay to train. So as long as my cold isn't like, because I don't feel like super bad in energy. But if I'm like sick, sick, I don't train. Uh, or if it just starts off, I don't train. It depends on like how bad it is. This is just like a bit of like just a bit of a head cold. So I think tomorrow I'll be fine to train. Uh, click the like button. Please do so. Thank you so much. Uh, I was so sad when you say you change your hair from red to blonde because red looks so hot on you, but on you, but the red. We will. <laughs> thanks, guys. Uh, I decided to keep the fringe as well. Yeah, thank you. So thanks, thank you so much for the appreciation on the hair. I do like, I do, I do enjoy being a redhead. I'm not gonna lie. There's just something about it. I mean, it's like you know, I don't know. It's, it's just a different vibe, a different energy in it. Anyway, 
Um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at Chantel today, the video that everybody and their mom has already reacted to, but I want to look at it because this grocery haul, it has me triggered. It really has me a little bit triggered, the, the last bit of the hijab video. But first of all, we are going to look at the Oh Baby I Do by Lana Del Beezer. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I haven't actually seen this. Um, I assume this is some sort of homage to her, to the love of her life, Salah. Um, but uh, wild energy. It's spicy. If you know, you know. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> oh. That was kind of funny, though. <laughs> Uh, St. Lucifer, you haven't missed anything. We are literally just about to get started. Um, so, yeah, we're going to look at the song she made. Uh, I have no idea what it's about. So, you know, let's... Oh, fuck my neck. Let's have, a, let's have a little listen together. I'm flying back to Canada. And my poor old heart's got to stay. I'm, I'm a bit confused about... I, I'm sorry to stop it already, but wh why is she looking like this in this picture? If it's supposed to be like a lovey-dovey, I miss you so much picture, why this face, though? This is a... Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like not saying I miss you, does it? It's kind of saying, like, why the fuck am I doing this? <laughs> I'm flying back to Canada and my poor old heart's gotta stay Because leaving you, darling Puts me through so much pain. I feel gone forever, even though it's only been. It's kind of weird, isn't it, with the mask? The what is it? The anonymous mask. Uh, I like the um, the auto tune that's the, on her microphone there. In a few days, I get sad when I think of you, baby, because I miss all of your loving ways. Do you know what? I don't think she is the worst singer. I'm not going to lie. She is not an amazing singer. She can kind of hold the tune. I can't sing for shit. Like, for if I was to sing, I will I will break glass. It's horrifying. And I'm quite aware of the fact that I can't sing to save my life. But she's not an amazing singer. But she's not a terrible singer either. Like, she's okay. She can hold the tune. Better than most people. Or better than me. Is it Guy Fox? I thought it was anonymous. Is it anonymous? Is the is it anonymous mask? Is that Guy Fawkes? Is it anonymous? You think the voice is bad? I don't think it is. I actually think it's not that bad. I don't think it is that bad. Her face. I, her face. Her voice. Um, I think it's okay. It's not. I don't think it's the worst. It's better than my voice. So. <laughs> when will I see you again? I will love you till the end. When will I hold you again? Time is my enemy and no longer my friend. <laughs> this nothing says true love than a man squeezing your cheeks. I can't wait for the day that I finally find true love. And uh, I have my cheeks pinched like this. This is true love, guys. I've got my key again, but I don't have you. People from that that's it. Oh. Why is my internet being weird for? Hello. Come on. Eh. My enemy and only, but I don't have you. I have restless legs because I miss you. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. But God willing, I will see you soon. Until then, baby, order some match boost. Kiss Julia and Harry for me. <laughs> I like how the picture she has of Harry is just like when she had that henna, which is what a year ago. <laughs> Harry the third. Harry for me. <laughs> they love it so much. Bye. I miss you. <laughs> Fair enough. There you go. Uh, it was something. It was something, for sure. Um, is this a pink mic? I don't know. I guess it is. I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, therapy is a therapy and I still don't have the confidence the girls do. <laughs> oh, that was, that was something, for sure. Anyway. 
And let's get into this hijab video. And then uh, I need to work work up. I need to walk over to the pharmacy to get some more medication before I have my client check-ins this afternoon. Uh, so I actually, I generally don't think her voice is that bad. I don't think it's amazing. Like she's not like an opera singer. Oh, I forgot about my tea. Oh, that was like such a little surprise. I made some tea earlier and I completely forgot I made it. And I'm just looking at my big cup of tea here. Oh, it's the little things in life, isn't it? Oh, and it's a perfect temperature as well because it's been sitting for 15 minutes. Oh, amazing. This is a salted caramel rooibos. Oh, it's so good. Anyway. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was saying. It can't have been important. Let's get into this video, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> <laughs> it's the holiday season, and what better gift to give someone you love? My internet's being a bit glitchy, and I wonder if it's the weather here. Because this this time around, it's actually not Streamyard. The Streamyard is fine. It's um, it's my internet as being a bit funny. So it could be because the weather isn't that great here. There's supposed to be like a lot of bad weather coming. Tea cures all. Do you know what? I'm not in the summer. I don't drink tea, but in the win winter, it's the buckets. I go for buckets of tea. I don't like a small cup of tea. No, no, no. I need to have a, like a cup the size of my head. Otherwise, it's not tea worthy. I think actually this is supposed to be maybe for for um, soups, but it's good enough for tea. Uh, let's do this again. Here, Ale, play. I need to just take off my hijab. Oh. Happy holiday! You today. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I know what you're thinking. I'm back in Canada. I know a lot of you expected me to just take off my hijab. For me to go. I don't think anybody expected her to just take off her hijab. I think what people were expecting her to do is just to get high. That's what I think. What people expected. People didn't expect her to take off the hijab. I'm sure she'll keep the hijab on. I'm just reducing the the playback quality um, in case that's what's making the just to hopefully improve the streaming quality. But uh, no, I don't think anybody was expecting her to take off the hijab at all. I think people were expecting her to just like get fucking shit faced pretty much. Which maybe she has, maybe she hasn't. We don't know. She's not live streaming. But uh, yeah, live a lot. I know. Okay, so I am. I have a lot of things to take care of and do, and I just find that the videos are more safe for me right now because honestly. Um, you know, it's just realistically, unfortunately, some people ruin it. Are they more safe because when she's not doing a video, she's doing the wheelchairs? I wonder. No fun for everyone, right? It's not safe for me to go live right now. I get stopped, I get followed around, and it's just not it's cool. So, you know, I'm trying to safeguard my privacy. These were in my car. I wear these. <laughs> I'm trying to safeguard my um, privacy right now. So, uh, yeah. Um, when I'm settled into my own apartment uh, or house, I'm not sure. So I know there's been the discussion around the scale, and I said previously, oh yeah, maybe the weight is correct because of you know, like it's possible that she maybe lost some muscle and she's holding a lot of water retention for swelling, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I mean, the pictures, the before and the afters, and the amount of space she's taking up in the Kia, I I I, I do believe that maybe there is some doctrine going on with that weight, the way she's done before. Because it's like things don't make sense, like the before and after. It's like the weight, it just doesn't make sense that it's still the same. I don't know, like, I don't know what or I don't know how, but I don't know. Unless it's, she just literally has so much swelling um, and she literally lost so much muscle tissue. I don't know. But it's it's just interesting that she is looking significantly bigger in the same spaces, you know, stuff like that. What I'm going to be renting. Um... I will film, like in the kitchen, my bedroom, yeah. stuff like that. I just watch all the outside of my location or anything like that. I'll be very careful. I'm being very careful this trip. There are literally like psychotic people who are on my tail, and I just, yeah, it's just I'm trying to be more responsible for my own. Um, she's not stalked. Some people stare because she's so busy. Well, what she's saying about the psychotic people, there was this one person um, that basically said that she's gonna go to. Canada, because apparently Free the Beauty called her son's gremlins, even though there was no evidence of it, and she's going to take care of it. So stuff like that is a bit out there. You know, you can't just go around and like threaten to basically unalive people, especially when there's no evidence of things having been said. I don't know if it has been said or it hasn't been said, but there is there is definitely some unhinged people in this world, and I think that I think that's what she's referring to in in this particular case. 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. Although in general, people do stare at her because of she is obese. But I think what she's talking about is um, this particular this particular person saying that security and just my own privacy more than anything, you know. So um, yeah, this is a sweater from Pennington's. We will Pennington's bees, um, but this is from Pennington's and it's a four. Oh. So again. Okay. <laughs> About the sweater, I saw, I've obviously, I'm so many days behind, I've seen some reaction channels, I've read the farms, I'm up to date on everything, so this is not, this is not a completely raw reaction at all, at all, I've seen like a couple of reactions, basically, the video, the t-shirt she had on that she was so proud of that it was a 3X, it was an oversized t-shirt, <laughs> so like, you know when you buy t-shirts and they're like, they're a certain size, but they're oversized, so they're meant to be big and they're meant to sit loose, she filled it out to the brim, so like, yeah, technically you're fitting into a 3X, but it's a 3X oversized, so it's kind of like, if I put on like, uh, a, a men's medium, she'd sit small on me, because I'm a woman, and a woman's, a woman's medium and a men's, uh, she should be, should sit big on me. A men's medium and a woman's medium are different sizes. Um, I, I kind of do fill out a men's medium, to be fair, these these days, because, like, you know, the gains and all of that. But besides besides that point, it's like, if you're wearing an oversized T-shirt that's meant to be baggy, but it sits tight on you, it's literally, like, it's on purposely been made to be a couple of sizes bigger. So, uh, no, she didn't take off her hijab. It's just a clickbait, clickbait title, basically. Again, it just depends how it's made, where it's from, et cetera, et cetera, you know? I wear anything. The only place I really wear 3X is from Maurice's. They, they're made big. So if you want your clothes made big, I would go there. Um, I wear between a 3X and a 5X. Depends. So... Yeah, my internet, I don't know why it's being like this. It must be the weather. Because it's not it's not the stream yard. So anyways, I have a busy day. I'm going to go get my car serviced. Look, I'm not getting rid of this car. Like I said, it's paid off and I don't have to worry about car payment. So that's awesome for that. Um, I haven't had to, I mean, this is the first time I haven't had a car payment. Like we have the SUV. It's crazy that she literally bought a secondhand car with, I don't know how much, does anybody know how many miles she bought that car on? Like, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against a secondhand car. I've already said that my car is an absolute banger. My car is a piece of shit. It's got loads of miles. It looks like crap. It's got dents in it because people drive like idiots here. And this is why I don't want to drive around in a nice car. I can easily afford to like lease a new car or like buy something better. But my dog, my dog, my dog is a car. <laughs> my car is a dog car. I put my dogs in it. I live in Sofia. The roads are shit here. So the suspension is like, it's crap. I'm going into the mountains all the time. I'm carrying dogs around. Like I don't care to have like a nice car because it's just, it's just going to get ruined. It's people going to drive into it. People are going to park into it. Like, what's what's the point? You know, I just don't see the point in it. But I also don't see the point in paying for a car for like a decade or like eight years. If you got, unless it's like a secondhand car that's pretty much new, uh, with very low mileage, then yeah, I understand maybe getting a loan on it. But to pay off for a car, which she did it for like six or seven years, I think. And it had like quite a lot of mileage on it already. That's crazy. If I'm going to get a secondhand car, I would just pay for it outright. Because what's, what's the point? Unless you're doing nice cars or unless you're leasing a car. But her car is... A Kia, is a, it's, a Kia isn't a bad car at all. It's kind of like lower middle range. It's okay. But if it's had like a lot of mileage on it and stuff, then... I don't know, like, what I would, I don't know, I just don't see the point of getting out alone on a car, unless it's a nice car, but then if you're going to get a really nice car, wouldn't you just lease it? I don't know, I've never leased, I've never looked into leasing a car, but yeah. Being Kuwait, and despite what a lot of people think, that's Salah's car, he pays his own, he's paid his own bills before me, he Ugh. will continue to pay his own bills without me, okay? <laughs> um, you know, people say, I'm broke, I'm broke, well then how can I afford to pay for two households and two vehicle payments? Um, and all these <laughs> this is so funny. This clip has been going around and around, and it's ironic how she's saying how he's financially taking care of himself, and then literally in the same sentence she's saying, "I oh, know, but how? How? You know, I don't have money. How could people say that I don't have money if I'm paying for two households? So which one is it though? Is he paying for himself, or are you paying for him? <laughs> I it's, see, she she tells on herself so much." <laughs> Is that some hangback? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. People are so willing to contradict themselves to fit their narrative, but it's just, anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna get this car cleaned up, detailed, serviced, and we're good to go. The Kia will be brand new. 
Eh, my but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, just other than normal wear and tear, it's fine. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm definitely not gonna get another car payment right now. So, anyways, um, so no, I don't think there's anything against having secondhand car. Like, you know, um, most people can't afford to have a nice car. It's just ironic to spend to take out a loan for a very long period of time on a car that's had a lot of mileage and that isn't anything particularly special. I maybe get out a loan for a couple of years, but she paid on that car for like when did she what when. Like five years, seven years, something like that. That's a long time to be paying on the loan. Oh, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I wanted to talk about the hijab. Um, like I said, I know people are expecting me to go back to myself. I mean, I can still be myself and wear a hijab. This is my religion. This is also, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm going to stay covered. Like, I know people think that. Yeah, basically, apparently my internet shit at the moment. It's a Vivacom thing. Of course, the one time that I have some time to stream, my internet provider is uh, having some issues, apparently. So I do apologize. It's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. This time it's not StreamYard. It's my internet that's having some some issues. I'm going to come back to Canada and completely take off my hijab. People are expecting it. and I don't think anybody, like I said in the beginning, nobody expected her to take off the hijab. People expect her to continue on doing this, uh, you know, being a good Muslim wife. Uh, but at the same time, behind the scene, not eat halal or not bother. I mean, she even admits here that she doesn't really bother to eat halal, to eat probably pork products, to probably do things that she should be doing in terms of consuming illegal substances or not even illegal. They're not illegal in, in Canada, but substances that are not halal, basically, um, which I'm, I wouldn't be surprised she has done already, which is part of the reason why maybe she hasn't been doing live streams. But taking off the hijab now, nah, why would she? That's like an easy thing to keep on, isn't it? And it like keeps her face skinny more than anything. It makes her look skinnier in the face, so. It's kind of, you know, disheartening to see people think that I'm just taking religion as a joke. I'm not a perfect Muslim. Nobody is perfect. I am still pretty new. I mean, it hasn't even been a full year. And I just, you know, it, I'm not. I don't know. If you're a religious person and you find God, like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm not a religious person. I'm open to the thought of it. I've just never experienced anything that would make me believe that there is something. But I'm not necessarily against the thought of it. If something happens that's, like, a miracle or that I can't explain away, then maybe. You know, I'm open-minded. Let's put it like that. But if you find God, quite literally, there is no practicing to be done. You know what I mean? You believe or you don't believe. You change, like, and especially, like... um something like this like this it's not like oh well you know i'm trying to be a good muslim but you know what i really I, I really crave those hot dogs those pork hot dogs today but i'm not being a good muslim it's like well, you either implement it or you don't you know like i understand that nobody is a perfect christian or like in terms of like people make mistakes and stuff like that but the things that she upholds within her religion in terms of what she shows is like mostly around food and dressing up like you know the garment now, if she can't even do the food properly, which is probably like the easiest thing to do out of everything, then how is she gonna do everything else? You know, I don't believe she prays five days, five times a day. I don't, I don't know if like if that's like something you have to do when you're just like dedicated, or whether you've got your levels. Like I said, I don't know anything about it. I'm not a religious person particularly, but it's just um, if you, I would imagine like if I, if you were to find God and it's something you're serious about, then you would just change your life completely there and then because that's like a commitment you're making right i don't know not perfect no not all the time I, you know but i mean this is a hijab okay i i wear this because i have to cover so for those of you even though i've said it many times there seems to be a lot of people who don't know i can i have to cover everything except for my hands sometimes yeah this incident is really annoying i'm so sorry guys it's typical that the one time that i decide to stream that my internet's being a shithead and i literally can't do nothing about it because well, 4.31. It's uh, my internet provider. Sometimes my feet, you know, when I pray, I cover my feet and my face. So I have to um, cover my neck always and the chin. Yes. My double chin even. Okay. So. <sighs> Why? Why weather? Why do you have to be shit right now? Why is it, why is it that I, whenever I decide to live stream that my internet's being shit? And like, I've never, I never have problems like this, normally speaking. What can I do? I can't do nothing about it either because my internet provider just said that it's, uh... 
if they're experiencing issues. So, oh, uh, the weather is it's the we're the the they're suspecting like a, a, a apparently it's going to be snowing and there's like a big uh bad weather front coming this way. So I think that's uh try slower down. I could do that actually. We could go on normal speed. Dear God. The thing is, is oh yes, I have to cover everything that's now. Fair. When I'm in the house, I never cover anything. When I'm alone with my husband, I don't wear a hijab. But just because I'm in Canada, I'm not going. It did work a little bit. I did. I dropped the cal quality. I can drop it a little bit more. Three sixty p. Let's do it, guys. I'm going to stop being who I am. And who I am, you know, I've seen this comment a lot by people. And I'm not getting down. Ah, oh, that works actually a little bit. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. On you, I don't mind. I expect this kind of reaction from people. You know, I know people are oh, that's a good finding idea, dis either in disbelief that I'm Muslim still, you know. And well, I never thought I would ever be in this position. I would never be who I am today. But um, this feels like who, like truly who I am. And, you know, if it wasn't, yeah, it would be just... Well, that's a really good idea. Somebody suggested about uh, hotspot. Let me see if I can find my uh, hotspot. I would take it off easily, but I'm not ever going to take it off. Um, even, even if I'm never with Salah again, that's not going to happen, inshallah. But let's say I didn't. I... Just like how she was never going to go together. Wait a second, guys. I'll connect via my hotspot. That should help. Mobile hotspot. Uh, turn off the Wi-Fi. Hopefully, that should help with... Let's see. Uh, not the fiber net. Android connect. So it's basically, there we go, I'm back. It's because my internet provider is having some internet issues. And it's, I think it's because of the weather here. But it's okay. We're on the. We're now connected to my data. Uh, I'm on the hotspot. So it should be completely fixed. Uh, so, yeah. Let's try this. We weren't together anymore. Me being Muslim isn't just have anything to do with him, you know? It's me. Me too. So this is a decision I'm making. It's not, no one's forcing me to do it. It's, it's a decision I've made all on my own. And while I'm in Canada and anywhere else in the world, when you see me. In <laughs> oh, it's a little better, but not much. Jesus Christ. This is really annoying. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't, I can't control my internet, unfortunately. But let's in the go. public eye on camera, I'm going to be wearing a hijab. So those are the parts of my aura, it's called aura, I'm always going to cover. You're only going to see my face, you're only going to see my hands, you're only going to see my, um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> you know, you. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Yeah, this is, this is normal speed. It's weird, huh? Like, I always feel like they sound drunk. <laughs> oh, fuck my neck. I feel, always feel like they sound drunk when I listen to them at normal speed. But we have to do this for now, just because of the fact that my internet is just not so great. <laughs> Thanks again for all the hair compliments, guys. It was it was time to bring back the red. We'll see how I was only going to keep it for Christmas, but now I have it. I'm kind of like I'm kind of vibing it. But I already know the pain in the ass it's going to be to keep it. But then it's like I'm a redhead. But it's such a pain in the ass. But it looks so good. So we'll see. We'll see how long. <laughs> how long I can be bothered to keep it <laughs> um, there are a lot of things yes I do that technically um, you know a lot of people will argue against Islam wearing lipstick stuff like that to each their own I'm not you know people shouldn't judge other people especially non-Muslims I have non-Muslim people who show their hair who are trying to tell me what is an appropriate hijab you can even look this up many 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 Muslims actually wear the uh, hoodies as long as you're covering your aura. Yeah, this is true. Like, you don't have to be completely covered up. I've, like, obviously lived in many countries. Uh, and especially in England, there's, like, a large Muslim population. And I used to live in 
uh, Hayes and Harlington, like uh, that sort of area, and there's a lot of Muslims there. And not everybody is like completely covered up. There's plenty of women that just like just cover up the hair and stuff like that. So you have different levels of covering. Some do the complete um, burqa, but some just cover up the hair and like even have like t-shirts and stuff on. It's just however you decide to implement it, really. As long as you're covering, that's technically a hijab. Um, I don't always have to wear a veil for it to be a cover, you know? Uh, I don't know. It's just like... Ah, uh, Briggs, I, I, do, I do this. This is why I, I always... I like being a redhead, but the maintenance of it is an absolute nightmare because I have to wash my hair with gloves. Everything gets stained red. My bathroom is always a, an absolute state. But yeah, I do this. I do this to keep the color nice. I do mix my conditioner with a semi-permanent. That's a trick that I learned a long time ago. Obviously not washing the hair too often, which I've done anyway. Not using uh, shampoos that are like um, the too many anti-dandruff shampoos because that strips the color. So I know I know all of it. It's just, it's just a nightmare to keep it nice. But when you have hair color like this, if it starts fading, it never looks good. So it's kind of like if it... I'm, I'm either this color or I'm going to just strip it all out and go blonde. I don't like that faded with the roots and stuff. I don't like that kind of look. I mean, it's fine. You can go on hothijab.com, uh, H-A-U-T-E, and check for yourself. It's, it's perfectly fine. Um, so even in the Quran, it doesn't say you must wear a chiffon hijab. To uh, I'm pretty sure she hasn't <laughs> read much of the Quran or if anything at all. To, uh, to be appropriate, it just says cover cover yourself like in, in a, the most general, vague sense possible. Oh, I need the AC on. It's 30, 33 Fahrenheit. <laughs> and I have the AC on, so Allah was like, you need a winter jacket. Let's go, because they have a, like a North Face um, at the mall, and I'm like, I don't want a winter jacket. Like, I am not going to wear it. I've had there is no need for her to wear a winter jacket. She literally will walk from her apartment to her car. And I'm sure she has so much body fat and such high blood pressure and everything else that's wrong with her body. I'm sure her body is just in a constant state of like being really high temperature. So yeah, I don't, and obviously she has a lot of body fat. So there's no need for her to have a jacket because she doesn't go anywhere besides to her car and that's it. Uh, Madame Madeau, wow, what did you go here? And wow, your hair is something bold color, Suji. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I, I I go red pretty much once a year, and then I'm red for a few months and I go back again. What about gluttony? Ah, we don't worry about that one. <laughs> Had winter jackets, I make it a shacket, but I mean, I don't, I don't need one. I'm hot right now. I have my undershirt, I have this, I'm covered on my head, so you know, I don't, I didn't even wear my scarf today. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm just busy visiting. I'm going to be visiting people and taking care of appointments and everything like that. I have a lot of appointments to do. I wonder which people she's visiting. Her mom? That's it, right? She doesn't know anybody. She doesn't have, like, not that, I'm not one to complain because, like, I don't, I don't visit people either. But I don't pretend to have a social life. <laughs> I have, like, three friends here. And then I go to the gym. And that's pretty much it. And I'm very happy with that. But to pretend that you have to, to pretend that you have like a very bustling social life where you have to visit loads of people and do all these exciting things when really you have no friends at all, except for Pete's. And um, I don't know if that friendship is still a, a thing or not. I don't, I don't know if her and Pete's are still friends. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe yes. But I, I don't, I think it's kind of like, I'm not too sure. I, I'm not too sure, but I think it's kind of frowned upon in Islam. Or per what she said before, I should say, like, I don't know, I don't want to necessarily generalize Islam because I don't know if it is like that. But from what she said before about men and women being separated and that, uh, you know, that women only hang out with women and men only hang out with men. I can't imagine that, um, you know, if if this is a genuine relationship, then Salah probably has an issue with her spending time with Pete's because it goes against what they do. And her, their part of how they follow their religion, it goes against it. So men, are, men and women are not allowed to hang out together or spend time together unless they're related or unless there's like people accompanying them, I believe. So she shouldn't be spending time with Pete's, but we'll see. And I'm running into a wall because... <laughs> um, True. <laughs> the wait time, I called around. For most family doctors, is like two to three years. 
I mean, that's where the healthcare system is failing. Right now, at, let, let's say at the Montfort Hospital, okay? Right now, I saw on the news, the wait time at the emergency is 20 hours. I'm sure it depends on the emergency, though. If you come in there because you're constipated from eating too much cheese, then, yeah, you should fucking wait 20 hours because that's not an emergency. If you come in there because your fucking arm is hanging off, uh, hey, Dazer, or you've been fucking stabbed or shot, shot in the head, I'm pretty sure they're not going to let you just hang there for 20 hours. In the emergency room, it goes on level of emergency and what's more urgent compared to other things. You having like having cheese shits or cheese constipation is not an emergency compared to somebody that's like been shot in the head. Like there's levels of urgencies and like, yeah, maybe you have to wait for 20 hours for the simple reason that as maybe this time of year, more accidents happen, I would imagine as well, because it's winter and stuff. But I, I think, you know, I, I, was she, wasn't she constipated or did she have the shits? I'm not too sure. She either had the shits or she was constipated from cheese. But that's like, yeah, I'm sure it's a huge discomfort, but it's not a medical emergency, is it? <laughs> Let's be real. Like compared to like actual emergencies, the only times I've ever been to the ER has been because like I was literally at a point where like I, I need, I like it's either been like where I've had like bad cuts and I needed somebody to put stitches or like I was so sick that I just didn't know what to do. The one time it was, I was sent to the ER because of like, I had a really bad glandular fever and my, my doctor sent me because they didn't know what to do. Cause it was like, so like, it was so unusual. Um, and another time I was in France and I had to go to the ER cause I had such a fear of food poisoning that I was just like vomiting everywhere and like cramping. And I was literally laying on the ER floor, just vomiting into a plastic bag. And I, I was just so sick that they need to put, they had to put me on an IV because I was just like, really like, that was like legit the worst food poisoning I've ever had in my life. Um, I've had food, milder food poisoning where you have like cramps and like, you know, other discomfortable bodily functions, but that's like the only times, but then there's still levels. Like you, ER goes on like whatever it's, it's urgent care. It's um, A&E, accidents and emergencies. So certain things are just a priority over other things. And like, yeah, if you have, like, look, having to wait for 20 hours sucks. I'm sure it sucks, but I'm, I'm going to guess a person that has to wait for 20 hours that their emergency isn't nowhere near as urgent as another one. But I could be completely wrong. That's just obviously me just hypothesizing here and applying some logic. But yeah, yeah, the triage system works. Uh, the triage system ranks severity to allocate response times. Well, exactly. So yeah, I would imagine it's based on that, to be honest. Last time I went to the air, I was admitted for three days. Oh, that's not good. Must have been something serious then. So. Yeah, I, I use those. Look, it's just, I don't know how long it's going to take me. And that's why I'm here indefinitely for now. Because I don't know when I'm going to. Two people died in the ER waiting for care. Really? That's bad, isn't it? Maybe it is as bad as what she's saying. But isn't that like. Uh, here, a lot of here in Canada, a lot of people don't have family doctors, so they just go to the ER for every little thing. Huh? You do not want to be taken in first into the ER. Yeah, true. Going to be able to get the the healthcare that I need, and you know, there's long wait lists. And I have a lot to take care of, so I'm just going <laughs> to need to be here for That's a while. Crazy. And uh, yeah, so it doesn't mean I'm not going to ever see Salah. We can visit each other. But uh, right now, and you know, the pets are keeping him company, and I purposely, I could have easily brought her with me. Well, not very easily. Um, you would not have been able to bring your cat easily at all. For first of all, your cat's not vaccinated, so it won't even be allowed to travel. And after your animal's been vaccinated, you need to chip it, and you need to do other medical procedures. Uh, it had, needs to have a passport. And then you need to travel with it. And that takes several weeks. Now, it looks like this trip was planned on the last minute. So, no, you couldn't have just taken your cat with it, with you. Because all the medical treatment that the cat needs to have, she hasn't had. So, she wouldn't be allowed to travel. I really am kind of, I feel so bad doing that. Knowing that they're, like, going to be on the plane for so long and stressed out. I don't know. It's really stressful. But this, I, this, I do agree with. Like, look, I know what she's saying is bullshit, but I do agree with this. It's like uh, people have said to me sometimes, like, oh, you know, why don't you take your animals with you when you go traveling? And it's like, first of all, for a couple of days, I don't want to put my animals under such stress because for it, like, I know you can get the flights with the dogs and stuff, but you have to create, you have to crate train the dogs for them to, first of all, be comfortable in it. 
to travel, etc. So that's like a whole process, which is fine if you're going to go away for a long time. But for me to go away for a couple of days to take my dogs with me and fly and like the cost, the cost of it, like cost is a thing and the discomfort that they're going to go through. I won't do that. Like, look, she's relocating indefinitely. This is different. If I'm going to relocate to a different country, of course, I'm going to take my animals with me and I'm going to take the necessary precautions to make sure that they're, um, oh, they're obviously my animals are vaccinated. <laughs> you know, I'm not Chantal, uh, but that they have everything that they need to travel, that their passports and they have passports and everything's updated and that I would train them. But, you know, for a short, for a short travel, I don't, I wouldn't put my animals through that kind of stress for a short journey. For like, if for me going to see my family for a few days and to come back, I wouldn't do that. But if I was to move to a different country, then yeah, of course, you know. Uh, super chat, Mukbang Anonymous. I have always loved this color on you. Thank you so much, and thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. A couple of days is different in a year. Yes, for sure. Uh, she's not married. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's different. You have different types of marriages, so I don't know what kind of marriage she has. Whether it's a a legal one whether it's a religious one and within the religion from Islam, I understand there's like different types of marriages as well. I don't know too much about it, obviously, because, you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, I don't, I don't follow the religion, but I don't know if she is, uh, I don't know if she is married in any form at all, but. But also he wants them to be there. Like the pets love him too. And Julia's close to him as well. And, you know, um, he's taking good care of them and they're there to keep him company, make him less lonely. He loves the pets. Um, uh, so... I don't think Salah is very lonely because, you know, from the last month of videos we have seen, he's barely been in any. So, you know, it seems like he's out and about quite a lot. He's got his friends. I don't think Salah is lonely. I think he's got a pretty decent social life, but okay. He's someone who never was, was raised with a cat. And I said, you're gonna love the cats pretty soon, sure enough. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I better get going. I have a lot to do today. Oh my gosh, I got I have an appointment soon. For she has a lot to do. One appointment. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. It's so funny for like how she thinks she has a busy life, and it's like her life is so empty. Like, she, she, I wonder how she would fare in just, like, a normal person's, like, a normal working person's daily life. Because I don't think she would cope. Because, like, what she considers busy is just, like, an, a rest day for most people, you know. <laughs> for the car. And, uh, I hate waiting. <laughs> Patience, my friend. So, um, so that's, that's why I'm dressed like this. You know, I'm not wearing a hijab or abaya. I didn't bring any of my abayas because... I just, people don't really wear them here and I just wanted to be more casual here. Access to like bigger casual clothes uh, in the winter here is probably makes me more comfortable. And um, also with the toque, it's a winter. So wearing a toque on top of like a chiffon, I don't know if I really like that look as much. So I'm just wearing an undercap. It's a hijab that goes to here, covers everything. And it covers my neck and my chins. If you want to say chins, whatever, I don't care. Well, it's the truth, though, isn't it? There is several of them. <laughs> um, and I don't have to worry about it, you know? And then I have my hat, hat on top of that because it's nice and warm. And I'm warm. I'm perfectly fine. I'm perfectly comfortable this way. You know, I have no complaints. So, but as for taking off the hijab, no. I don't know why people would think that. It'd be, you people. I literally don't think anybody, like, I don't think, I've I've not really heard anybody say that. People think you're going to be doing drug chantelle. That's that's what people think you're doing. People think you're eating fucking hot dogs and burgers and not trying to eat halal. Uh, but everybody believes that you're keeping on the chin spanks. Of course, it's making it's making your face look less fat. But nobody believes, or most people presume that you probably are already on the edibles or have indulged in some of the other non-halal things that you shouldn't be doing. But the chin spanks is an easy thing to do, and it to put down your face. So I can't, I don't, I think she'll probably um I think she will probably keep that on for a long time yeah I don't see why she wouldn't have so many um oh Chaco said a super chat I have to go but we'll rewatch later today have a nice one and hope you feel better soon thank you so much Chaco I feel much better than I did yesterday for sure um and I hope you have a good day and thank you so much for the super chat I appreciate it take care. <laughs>
theories about me and how I feel. And, and you're so wrong. You're wrong about every single thing. You're wrong. Carabel Nuit. Uh, I still don't get how she doesn't do nothing uh, but sit at home all day long and uh, couldn't bother to learn Arabic. I don't know. I think just anything to anything that's effort she doesn't like doing, everything that's difficult she doesn't like doing, right? Like, I can't complain because, like, I've lived in Bulgaria for, like, three years and, like, I don't speak a lot of Bulgarian. But to be fair, <laughs> like, I'm actually really busy uh, and I work a lot pretty much every day and I don't need to speak any other language. I live, I mean, like, I, sh I am going to, I definitely am going to learn Bulgarian next year, though, because I do want to get some lessons, but I need to have, like, a tutor. The only thing is, is that, like, I, I just, I just haven't had much time, and I don't have the need, because all my clients speak, I speak English like this. Most people in, in Sofia speak English, and, like, the few times where I need something, the rare, on the very rare occasion that I need to have uh, a, more, a native speaker, I have, like, I can, either Georgia Velika usually helps me, so, you know, but... I can't say anything about her not having learned Arabic because I am the same. I'm in a similar situation where I live in a foreign country and I haven't learned much of the language. Uh, I guess I can read Cyrillic. I can understand it a little bit. I can speak it a little bit, but not enough to hold a proper conversation. Uh, but in my defense, I, I have been really busy <laughs> and I work a lot and I've been prepping, etc. So that's my, but still it's not hundred percent in the shoes. And that's something, one of the things I do want to do is get a tutor next year. Somebody that comes to my house like once or twice a week and sits down with me for an hour because I can't learn from my. I've tried to do learning from the apps. I can't do that. I need I need to do old school. I need somebody to sit there and go through the verbs and I need to write it down and I need to ask questions. I need to learn how I learned it in school like 38 years ago or like well, well 35, 36 years ago. I'm not 38, I'm 37. But when I started going to school 30 years ago, that's how I need to learn languages. I can't sit on an app. It doesn't work like that for me. And also here, the TV is not subtitled, it's dubbed. And I fucking wish it was dubbed, uh, subtitled. Because if everything's in English, but you have the subtitles, you can read the subtitles and you pick up a lot more from the language. Like I've actually picked up an okay-ish Japanese uh, um, vocabulary from watching anime for years, but because it's subtitled, you know, so you kind of like, you start connecting the words, but yeah, here it's not, it's all, um, uh, it's all dubbed, so. Wrong about me being a fake Muslim, you're wrong about me, um. No, Bulgarian language is not, no, it's not at all, it's not, it's not Latin at all, it's completely different, it's, um, it's Slavic, it's like Russian, basically, well, Russian is actually derived from Bulgarian, so the, the Cyrillic language or the Cyrillic alphabet was actually created by a Bulgarian person. So all the all the Russian-y type languages, they all stem from Bulgarian. That's the, that's the first language to do it. So it's absolutely nothing like uh, Latin. And the thing with Bulgarian as well, the way they write in capital letters versus the small letters is completely different as well. So they have like two different alphabets. The alphabet for the big letters and the alphabet for the small letters. And they use often completely... Oh, hello. Hello, what are we doing? You want to say hi? Hello, you need some attention. She's like pawing at me. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, it's nothing, it's completely different. Cyrillic, yeah. Hello, and no, I'm not a perfect Muslim, but it doesn't mean I'm fake and I don't believe in God and Allah, okay. And you're so wrong about me wanting to eat pork. I'm never going to eat pork again. I haven't. Now, I will be honest that... I'm sure she's... Maybe not necessarily going out of her way to eat pork. She'll probably try a little bit... She will try and uh, be a little bit mindful of it. But she is probably... Uh... You know, I'm not. I'm sure she doesn't check all the ingredients. I'm pretty sure she likes to eat some candies that are made out of, like gelatin and gelatin is like of a male of pork etc so i'm i don't think she really uh tries that hard i'm trying to learn turkish and so freaking hard two years and all i've got is marhaba turkish is very different from bulgarian again like that's a completely different language altogether uh my origin country corn dog i'm dutch i lived in holland for 15 years then i, I lived in sweden for three and a half years because my mother is swedish and then i moved to the uk where i lived for around 18 years so this is why I've got a bit of a British accent. And then I moved to Bulgaria. Hi, do you need some attention? Come on then. There we go. Oh, wrong one. Sometimes I eat non-halal. 
uh, meat while I'm here because it's harder to access unless you go to a specific restaurant. You can buy it in the grocery store too, but um, sometimes I go out and there not everything is halal, and it's just you know I'll eat halal where I can. Like it's not that hard to get halal foods in like most Western countries. Um, I mean, like over here. It's not as hard. I'm, I would imagine that, yeah. Well, actually, you probably, as long as you go to any Turkish supermarket, it's probably not an issue. In the supermarkets here, you don't get halal. Um, but I would imagine that in Canada, that's really a lot more multicultural than what Bulgaria is. Uh, even though Bulgaria has a large um, a Turkish population. Uh, in general, I would imagine that in most big cities, there is, in most supermarkets, a halal section. It was like that in Britain. It's like that in Holland. Most countries that are very multicultural, very diverse, they have, usually speaking, halal sections in supermarket. Now, going to a restaurant, different, obviously. But this is what she does, isn't it? She only eats takeaway. So, yeah, your Chinese takeaway is probably not going to be halal. Your McDonald's is probably not going to be halal. Or certain options, maybe, or I don't know. But, yeah, so, no, it's like... Um, so what are we doing, kid? Why are we doing, kitten? Hey. You're making all kinds of like curly whirlies and you're falling all over the place. So if she wants to make, if she, if it's something she wants to do because she's that committed to her religion, just like any other freaking diet, you will find a way. It's not that difficult to maybe, she sits in a car, she has a car, she has transport. Maybe you have to drive an extra kilometer or two to go to a supermarket that stocks halal. Maybe don't have so much takeout and maybe go to supermarkets and stock halals and cook your own freaking food. It'd be better for you and you're sticking to your religious diet and to your diabetic diet. But, you know, excuses, eh? It's easier just to order takeout, so. But the main thing is I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to eat pork. And I'm not going <laughs> to. She's like, basically like, yeah, that's the only thing I'm going to do is not eat pork. I'm, I'm not, she's not even going to try to eat halal like she's not even like she literally is admitting she's not even going to bother so she is that committed to her religion that all the only thing she's willing to do for her religion is stick on cover up her face and like not eat pork that's not really committing to a religion though is it you know it's like something but that's kind of like me saying like yeah i'm not gonna have a i was gonna say i'm not gonna have dairy anymore but that would be stupid because dairy is cheese and cheese is life so that's not gonna happen but that would be like me saying uh, I, don't, I don't know I don't like me saying I'm not gonna have pork anymore. Like I could easily not eat pork. I don't eat a lot of pork. <laughs> you get that? <laughs> Your little hairs are everywhere. So yeah, it's kind of like that. Just because you don't eat pork, that doesn't mean you're committed to religion. You're just, you know, cutting out a, a food group. A drink, and I'm also not going to smoke weed uh, or take edibles. I I thought when I came here I would be craving it so bad, and there's dispensaries I was driving by. And I really just, you know what I like? I like the... F the thing is, though, I believe her aunt smokes weed, right? So, you know, maybe she's not having the edibles, but maybe she's having a couple of tokes. But then she doesn't inhale, so yeah, she probably doesn't get stoned. <laughs> Chantal doesn't smoke properly, which is weird. Like, I don't, I've never understood... I used to be a smoker, but I've never understood people that smoke, but that don't inhale. Like, especially weed. Like, what's the fucking point? You can't get high if you don't inhale. Can you? Maybe you can a little bit, but I don't know. Feeling of a clear head. I was thinking of how I felt when I was like high and how I know I think it's worse for my depression. I really do. And I have a bit of a trauma from all those wheelchairs. I swear. I don't, I don't think I would enjoy it the same way. I want to turn a new leaf. I want to be different here. I don't want to go back to my old habits. I don't miss those. I never missed them. So when people say you look so much happier, yeah, but the thing is, she's getting high in Thailand, though. So what is she talking about? What is she talking about? She was getting high like two months ago. Is it two months ago, Thailand? I think it was, right? Two to three months ago. It's like you were off your face then. So, like, you haven't changed that much. You still like to get high. Don't pretend you don't. We saw we saw it with your own eyes. With, with our own eyes, not your own eyes. <laughs> English. <laughs> I'm happy to be able to see my family and take care of things, but I'm actually really sad because I miss my pets and Salah. And um, I don't miss any of the bad habits I used to have. I don't miss them at all. Whatsoever. So that's false as well. Except for eating bad food, drinking, drinking sugary drinks. You know, those bad habits she can't shift though. Anyways, there's my sermon for today. Um, yeah. But other than that, um, hijab is staying on and I'm moving on. <laughs> 
So like I said, my goal is just to keep, um, once I have more updates about health appointments and things, I want to share my health journey um, and that stuff. And yeah, just share my journey of, you know, moving out on my own. But um, eventually the goal is to live. This is crazy as well that she's like not lived on her own and she's basically 40. I can't, I can't. For me, it's kind of difficult to live with people at this stage. I have, obviously, I have, I was in an age of relationship where I live with somebody. And obviously with my, uh, the person that I was with when we came to Bulgaria, like we live, we live together as well. Uh, so I, ha I have lived with three boyfriends uh, or three partners, I should say. I have lived with three partners. I was together with a guy in Sweden and we moved to, from Sweden to the, U to the UK. We lived together as well. But I was like, when I was 18, I was like, see you later, bye. I was on like a minimum wage, renting a shitty studio that was covered in mold somewhere in Newbury in the UK. But yeah, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to live out like on my own. I have always liked my own space. I actually find it kind of difficult to like, obviously with my friends, if they need to live with me, it's, it's a different story. But like, um, even in relationships, if you're in a relationship, but otherwise like, no, I, I would never like rent a room with somebody unless I, I really had to, or I couldn't afford to, or it was like a last minute thing. But even like um, after my separate, hey Rosie, after my separation here, some people were like, oh, why don't you go back to family? It's like, well, first of all, I'm like, how old was I, 36? What am I going to do, sit in my mom's bedroom? No, thanks. <laughs> no, thanks. Oh, don't get me, ah, Violet. Oh, the little deals. Don't get me wrong. I love my mom and I love my dad, but I couldn't think of anything fucking worse than to go live back with family. If I was to move back to either well, my dad actually lives in Belgium, but if I was to go back to move in my dad's area or in my mother's area, there's no freaking way I'm going to like live in an apartment with them unless it was for like a month or so until I could find somewhere to rent. But I couldn't think of anything worse than to go and live with family again or just to live to live with people in general. Nah, I like my own space way too much for that. <laughs> I'm, nah. Uh, tip top. Dobre den, kak si? Dobre? Malko umren. Little, little tired, little sick. I don't know what sick is, but dobre. Eighty. <laughs> See, I know a little. I, I can speak a little. <laughs> Together again, but yes. I have to take care of my things here right now, you know, so. Um, but anyway, we'll see what the future holds. I'm taking it day by day. I'm just literally taking it day by day right now. Um, well, I'm just trying to, you know, stay positive, not feel too lonely. Rasbrach Malko. I govoria Malko. Me ne dobre. Bolna. Ah, bolna is sick. I see, I see. Thank you. <laughs> and just keep myself very awesome. Bolna. <laughs> very busy, which I am. So, anyway, I'm going to do a tour of different places, like in Ottawa, my hometown, stuff like that. So, um, I will definitely have a video up for you guys. I wanted. When she says tour, she means basically go to like different fast food stops, yeah? Or stop in different parks. Hey, Rosie. Do you want to come for a cuddle? Do you want to come for a cuddle? You don't want to come for a cuddle. Or you do want to come for a cuddle. Or you've got... Oh, it's so sad. Like sometimes she gets an itch. Like she gets an itch. And you can see her trying to itch with a leg that she doesn't have. You're an itchy. I don't know what you want. Sometimes she'd like try to scratch her head or something, but the leg isn't there. It always makes you a little bit sad. There we go. I had to wash you this morning, didn't I? Yeah. There we go. This is why you're losing lots of hairs. Do you want to come for a cuddle? Come here then. Come. Come here. There we go. Come here, missus. Oh, there we go. Oh, hold on. We've got a big ears. We have a big ears joining us. I had to cut her little toenails and I washed her this morning. Do you want to smell me? Yeah, so oh, is that what we did? Good, wasn't it a good little smell? Let me smell you. Oh, you smell so nice. You smell so nice. Yes, you smell so nice because I washed you. And you smell so nice because I washed you. <laughs> she is such a sweetie. Do a tour of the mall in Cornwall <laughs> to show you guys, and it's not far between. I got the little nails as well. I, I love driving, so we'll uh, just do some videos like that here and there. So I'll see you guys later. I'll let you know how much my car was and what was wrong with it, and then I'll probably end the video. So thank you guys for watching, and yeah.
Do you ever scratch her her ear on the side? Of course. If I see if I see that she is trying to scratch her, she if I see that she's trying to scratch but she can't reach, um, of course I scratch for her. Iasum, <laughs> Bulna, and I am sick. See you in the next clip. So my car is fine. The only thing I need done is some brakes, rotors, and pads. And after labor and everything, it's going to be quite costly. It's going to be like $1,500, but I'll have good brakes for a little while. So that's good. So I'm going to... So to replace her brakes, it's going to be $1,500. Nah, she must have had more work done. Or is that just a normal price? $1,500, bucks. that's like over 3000 3000 lever. You can buy like a new car for that. <laughs> is she a cattle dog? Uh, she, I don't know what she is. She is a mix. There's definitely some German Shepherd in her, but they're street dogs. They're rescues, they're street dogs, so I don't know what's in them. Her and Daisy are sisters. Uh, it's just a, like, Daisy, Daisy looks like a baby Malinois. Are you having cuddles with your sister again? You're always having cuddles with your sister, ain't you? Yes, you two are always having cuddles together. Um, so they're both from the same mother, I think, but I think they have different daddies. Uh, because Daisy is like shorter and stockier, whereas Rosie is like tall and skinny. But uh, they both have definitely got some Malinois or German Shepherd in them. But I don't know what the rest is. Getting that fixed right now, and in the meantime, I'm enjoying some complimentary coffee and some dad's oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, because that's really good when you're diabetic and you're trying to lose weight, is eating cookies. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm grocery shopping, and uh, look at the things I found. Uh Six vegetable recipe. So this kind of stuff, it doesn't have to be bad, but usually speaking, uh, these sauces, these pre-made sauces are really high in sugars, lots of preservatives, and really high in salt. So great for a diet. Not all of them. You kind of have to look on the labels, but um, I am sure a gro this grocery haul <laughs> sounds like cooks. I, I saw you post about it. I haven't seen the video yet. But uh, yeah, I, this is the only reason why I'm looking at this because I, I love grocery hauls. I actually uploaded a grocery haul of mine yesterday. And it's a realistic one. Like, you know, I do buy sometimes things that aren't diet friendly. I've got some chocolate, some real Turkish delight and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, I got some pasta sauce for cheese. And uh, I got some lunch mates, the Turkish and cheese ones it's not like this these these sort of things like i don't know if like the the, the lunch meats uh, it's gone anyway it's not even like stuff like that it's not even real if look i understand getting deli meats i understand getting cheese i buy cheese i fucking love cheese at least get real cheese you know at least get like if you're gonna get deli meat get some like actual chicken breast or turkey breast or real ham that's been sliced up not all of this processed crap this one is the exact opposite of what a doctor recommends. Yeah, I'm not absolutely not surprised. You can buy genetic tests. Yeah, I think I will do that at some point. I want to try and figure it out. But um, yeah, I'll have to look into that. But I want to do that. Oh. And uh, I got some lunch mates. It's like, it's like, it's, it's like food for a chill child, isn't it? Turkey and cheese ones with a little Kit Kat. And I also got some stove top. We don't have. Like this, what this woman has allegedly come to. I was gonna say Bulgaria, <laughs> to back to Canada, to fix her health, and then this entire hole is nothing but fucking processed food except for the broccoli, the eggs, and the mushrooms. This is not like this. Like whether you're on a di whether this is a diabetic, uh, she's supposed to be following a diabetic diet or not. This is a diet that nobody should be having. Like, this is just, like, probably a couple of days' worth of food for her. This is, like, I understand keeping some of this stuff in your cu cupboard for emergencies, but this is not how a grocery haul should look. Your grocery haul should consist of whole foods with maybe a item of, like, easy-to-cook stuff. Not consistently. Uh, uh, good to thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Thanks for the entertainment while you did your meditation. You are so welcome. Or is it yoga? The trolley of a death vet. Yeah, unfortunately, it is true. Have this in Kuwait. These are basically things I've been missing. We don't have in Kuwait. Uh, Jesus Christ. 
Why though? Alfagetti. Alfagetti is one of my favorite things. But you shouldn't be eating that though. Like it's not about whether you craved it or missed it. You're literally going back to Canada to try and save your life, to try and fix your health. And then you're eating this kind of shit. Why? Why? It makes no sense. She doesn't care. I mean, like we could tell from the airport, from the airport bees. She's like, oh, I don't want to drink Pepsi. And then she walks around with like a fucking half a liter of like lemon juice or whatever juice it was. It's like, well, if you're going to have fruit juices, you might as well just drink the Coke because actually the Coke probably has less sugar in it than what the, the juices do. And all the food was unhealthy. And like I watched Jabba's live stream and I didn't even think about it at the time. But yeah, normally speaking, when you go on longer trips and you have meals, you can select what meals you want to have. So the meal she was served is exactly what she ordered. So, uh, I don't know. Things ever. And also, look at all these things. Uh, flakes of turkey. It's so good for sandwiches. I have some hamburger helper. I'm so excited for this. I've been really craving it. I can't believe it. And uh, here we have some beef ravioli. So, is this a little, bu a little bug? Beef ravioli. Like, this sort of stuff. I I've never even eaten it, right? What, hamburger help us also look at all these things uh flakes jesus christ of turkey it's so good for know. sandwiches i have some hamburger helper what is hamburger helper i mean it's like none of this is food though like it's literally it's literally food that people have when they're in like a rush or like they serve to their kids as a treat which like it shouldn't really be a treat because it's like it's not the best food is it but but I don't even know what Hamburger Helper is. It looks like shit, though. I'm so excited for this. I've been really craving it. I can't... The over the high... I'm skipping Hamburger Helper. I was really high in sodium. It's on basically puzzle box. Yeah, it looks like it. I believe it. Oh, yeah, there's a bag there. This is the bag of chips there. And uh, here we have some beef ravioli. I checked... Are you having fun there? Here. Look at it. I don't, I, 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 do you know what? Even growing up, I'm pretty sure my parents never fed me this kind of stuff. I've never had foods like this, and I can't imagine that it tastes nice. I can't, like, I understand maybe having like a cup noodle or a noodle soup or something like that sometimes, but this is just like, there's, there's no food in here. I know. It's, it's all processed. You see, dogs even object to it. She is angry at the child's food choices. No, they're just playing. This is this is play growling. There's nothing going on. They're just they're just um playing with this here. The ingredients, there's no pork. So we're good to go. So I got a few cans of that because uh, you know how I love it. And a big block of cheese. Sounds delicious. Oh, she got some real cheese. That is a really big it's a two blocks of cheese. Hey, Rosie, come here. Is that two blocks of cheese? Or is that just one block of cheese? What's this? What is this down here? I can't tell what it is. But none of it is real food. Even this cheese looks like shit. It doesn't even look like a proper cheese. It looks like super processed cheese. This is some soup and some uh -huh. other things. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this. That's shocking, isn't it? Like, you would not think that this person is allegedly on a health journey. No. It doesn't look like it, does it? She doesn't look like she's on a health journey. No. I totally agree. Look look at those eyes. What is she eating? Why is she eating like this, Rosie? Do you know? It's, it's not good for her. No. No, she shouldn't eat like that, huh? No. Oh, I know. <laughs> right guys i'm gonna have to go because i have a check-in in 15 minutes but thank you so much for being here apologies for the the laggy stream and me being nasally and a little bit sick but nonetheless thank you so much i'll see if i can go live over the weekend i'm not so sure if i do it might be on sunday and members uh in three hours i'll do a live stream i will post the link now in the community post so but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Oh, oh, we need to insert some emojis. Let's insert some pasta emojis. So thank you so much, and see you later. Bye, guys.